was bad. Baron Davis came in there, barely played two or three seasons with the motherfuckers and took them further than Monte Ellis did. Check it out, check it out, check it out. So they're so saying, saying he's like a 24, 24 to 26, 26 per game, game score with four assists, four goals. That's a cool potential. No, it's not. Because who's already averaging 30? 30. 30. Without, without Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. I'm going to repeat myself. 30. 30. Not no 24. 30. Not no 26. 26. Jordan, Jordan Poole's Poole averaging 30. 30. Plus. Without, without Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. Plus. He's, he's getting, getting rebounds, rebounds like he did last night and assists. And he's winning. So, so, yeah, yeah Montez is a good, good player, player, very good, good player. player. You know what I'm saying? I like Montez, but, but uh, I'm, I'm seeing, seeing more early on as far as winning wise from Jordan Poole. That's interesting. And, pe- <laughs> and people <laughs> call me crazy when I said Jordan Poole could be an all star last night. I said, bro, you're not going to be able to see Poole for potential because he might not have the thing. He's a very high of 30 not sustainable when niggas out here getting 40. <laughs> How's the 30 not sustainable when the man has almost he, he should have had three 40 point games in the last 10 games? How is that not sustainable? You dumb son of a snitch. When he's 30, he's over. Don't you know the average 30? You have to be getting 35, 33, some games, 32s. Y'all are doing some sad, bro. Even his own teammate, Clay, Clay Thompson said, Poole gonna be a star on the league, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, I think he's still gonna do Poole. Yeah. All, All I know, I know is, is the nigga ball out of control, and the Warriors have been winning games. games. And everybody, and here's the funny, funny part, Reggie. They, they all thought the Warriors would get the hell beat out of all these games without Steph. They didn't, didn't expect them to win none of these games without Steph, bro. The losing of Steph, bro. It defeats their narrative that Steph doesn't have any help. It defeats their narrative that the Warriors have anything without Steph Curry. It defeats that because they said they were going to get humiliated without Steph, and that's not happening. Man, you, you know, know what, what I've learned not to doubt the Warriors League is scoring and shit, and they, they were real bad. bad. And, and Steve, Steve Kerr, he, he, he comes from that pop of his coaching tree. So he... Let me say you something. <clears throat> Ticket, stop hating. You are the worst Steph Curry hater I have heard. You're trying to make anybody that's commenting in your comment section a Steph Curry fan when well, you don't know that. Just because somebody said, oh, uh, how poor jaw feel. That don't mean they're a Steph Curry fan. Just because somebody said the 30 is not sustainable ticket, that don't mean they're a Steph Curry fan. You got people in here that's just commenting on your stuff. You talking about, oh, Steph Curry fans, they want uh, Jordan Poole to uh, knock the ball out because they don't want it to make it seem like uh, Steph Curry uh, got help. Nobody wants that. You talking about Steph Curry fans just as bad as LeBron fans. You sound stupid as hell. No, you're a Steph Curry hater and a Giannis Atacubo dick sucker. That's what you are, bro. You big up Giannis every single chance that you can, but you never say nothing about about when he plays bad or when he's not hitting his free throws or this and that, bro. And I fuck with your ticket, but you 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 doing some you doing some dirty shit right now, bro. And I'm keeping it in the honey. And I hope you see this video too. And holla at me and we can we can battle real shit. Because this is this is sad, bro. I ain't heard no Steph Curry fans shitting on Jordan Poole because he balling without Steph Curry. He was balling last year when Steph Curry was coming off the bench. If that's the case, last year when Steph Curry was coming off the bench as a six man, Steph Curry fans would have been mad as hell. But they wasn't. I'm a big Steph Curry fan. And I'm not saying that. I love what I'm seeing from Jordan Poole. And he plays really good with Steph Curry. And him and Steph Curry definitely play similar to each other. And maybe he won't reach his full high, his full potential on there because he could maybe be a, a number one player for a championship team. That's what I think his ceiling is, a number one player for a championship team. But you got people in here saying that he's not better than Monte Ellis. He's better than Monte Ellis. But you talking about when the Warriors was playing bad and everything. The Warriors had a winning record when Steph averaged 32 points per game. Y'all keep forgetting that, bro. 
You keep acting like they had a losing record or they was terrible. They were the eighth seed in the conference, bro. The only reason they didn't make the playoffs is because of the play-in tournament. And Draymond, Steph literally had no help. He literally balled out both games, the L.A. game and the Memphis game. So this narrative you're trying to paint ticket about, oh, Steph Curry fans uh, don't want to see Jordan Poole ball. Yes, the fuck they do. Warriors fans want to see it too. So I don't even know what the hell you're talking about, Ticket. You really out of pocket and you really like, you know what I'm saying? You really trying, you really acting like the, the sports media trying to uh trying to control a narrative. That's really how you acting. You feel me? Because you're trying to disrespect Stephen Curry so much, and it's sad. It's real sad. You feel what I'm saying? You don't do this to Giannis. You deride Luca too. But you want to come on here and talk about how Steph this and Steph that. Or, man, look at uh, you reading such and such comments, but you ain't read none of my comments, though. What I said to you. Because you already know every Steph fan is not like that. Whatever Steph fans that is saying that, that's a minority of the majority. Majority of Steph fans are Warriors fans as well. And it's a lot of Steph fans like me that just happened to be Warriors fans when he got drafted. And I fuck with Jordan Poole and Dre my green because I'm from Michigan. This is crazy, bro. Tiki, you got to cut it out, bro. You got to cut it all the way the fuck out. And these bozos on here talking about, oh, yeah, uh, he looked better with Clay. Of course he going to look – he looked better with Jordan Poole. How? How he looked better with Jordan Poole when he dropped 41 when Steph was in. And he had marquee games when Steph when Steph was in. What are y'all talking about? Y'all want Steph and Curry to retire so bad or something, bro. I said Steph Curry was a monster. Yeah, you said Steph Curry was a monster. Then turn around and say, well, yeah, Jordan Poole, he holding him back. You know what I'm saying? He can't, you know what I'm saying? He looked better with Jordan Poole. You know what I'm saying? When Steph was dropping 30 here and there, they was, you know what I'm saying? They was losing. They're winning at home, which is the same stuff they was doing when Steph was there. How do you think they got that 16 and 2 road record? It wasn't just because Jordan Poole was balling. Steph was fucking balling. They had a terrible road record without Steph. They had a terrible re- road record with Steph. Everybody is stepping up now. They don't have to lean on Steph. That's why they st- that's why they keep winning because they're great at home. If they was doing this on the road, then you could talk. But you acting like when Stephen Curry was balling, they wasn't winning at home still. They were still winning at home. Ticket, you you sad, bro. You sad, bro. Real talk, bro. You sad. This been who is Hendo, man, with another video, man. I'm out.